Hello, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements Together. And here we are in Photoshop Elements for part one of an eight-part series we're calling Basic Training with Photoshop Elements. But here in session one, I want to talk about something very, very basic, but it's important to understand in order for any of these tools and any of the measurements or settings for the tools to make any sense in the program. Resolution means the number of pixels in a digital image. What does that mean exactly? Well, we could take a look at this picture here that's in the editing area right now. And uh, I actually have two photos here. And I'm going to go down to the layout button here at the bottom of the program, select that, and select a layout where we see these two pictures side by side. Now these are essentially two pictures of the same person. Just want to zoom back a little so they're about the same size. And although these photos are essentially the same and are even the same size, take a look at this. If I go down to image, resize, image size, you see that this picture on the right, if I were to set this to show inches, is three and a half inches wide and four inches tall. While the photo on the left, if I go to image, resize, image size, and set the measurement to inches, it too is three and a half inches wide and four inches tall. But there's a big difference, and that has to do with resolution. You notice here the resolution of the picture on the left is 72 pixels per inch. Pixels are the little elements that make up a digital image. And I'll show you what pixels actually look like in just a moment. Okay, but just take note of this, that the resolution is 72 uh, pixels every inch. That means 70 every inch there are 72 pixels right to left and 72 pixels up and down in every square inch. While the picture on the right, image, resize, image size, you'll see that its resolution on the other hand, despite it being exactly the same measurement in inches, its resolution on the other hand is 200 pixels per inch. That's nearly three times as much. That means every inch there are 200 little pixels left to right and 200 pixels up and down in every square inch. What does that mean exactly? Well, let's zoom in a little bit on the picture on the left. If I zoom in, a couple of clicks, and I'm doing that just by holding down the control key and pressing the plus button. On a Mac, you do that with the command key and the plus button. Let's bring that in about the same amount. And you notice the picture on the right is still looks like a photo. It's still very clear, very detailed. While the picture on the left, we can now see some breakup. It looks a little more jagged. It looks a little blurrier. Let's zoom in a little more. You notice if I zoom in far enough, I don't even see what looks like a picture. What I see are a bunch of little rectangles, little squares. Those squares are pixels. And each one of those pixels is a mixture of red, green, and blue. And each of those channels, red, green, and blue, is one of 256 settings for that particular color. And it's the mixture of those three colors at those settings that creates each little block of color and when you get back far enough from those blocks of colors, they turn into a picture. So with resolution, we're often talking simply about the density of the pixels in an inch or a centimeter or a millimeter. How many of those little squares fit into a inch or a centimeter? Those are linear measurements. However, when we're working in digital media, and that means when we're creating pictures that we're going to send up to the web or when we're creating images or pictures that we're going to use in a digital video, the only measurement that matters is the measurement in pixels across and up and down of the photo. So in other words, even though these photos measure the same in inches, they're both three and a half wide, four inches tall, they do have very different measurements if we were to count the actual number of those little squares from left to right and up and down. And we can see that number if I just go to image, resize, image size, this measurement here at the top, pixels, tells me how many actual dots or little squares there are left to right. So here we've got 252 going left to right and 288 pixels up and down. But let's look at the other photo if I select that and I go to image, resize, image size, and here you can see we have 700 pixels from left to right and 800 pixels top to bottom. So not only is it denser, but it's actually a larger photo. And in fact, if you look at the top here, it shows you how zoomed in this photo is. We're only looking at this at about 66%. 
uh, we haven't even got this blown up to 100%, while the picture on the left, we've got blown up to 200%. Now that will become a little more clear as you continue to work with the program. Right now it's just, I know, very conceptual, and if you never heard this before, it isn't entirely gonna stick. Don't worry about it. This is a very basic principle. You're going to see pixels represented throughout the program in settings for virtually any tool. So it's important that you know what a pixel is, and the key element is to remember that when you're creating graphics for video, or that you're going to use on screen, that the only measurement that matters is the actual overall measurement of the picture in pixels. Now in part two, we're gonna look at something a little more simple. We're gonna look at some of the tools in the program, and we'll continue to build out from there. And we'll start that up in part two of our eight-part basic training with Photoshop Elements. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me.